Pretty much anything can be streamed online these days. However, if you are like me, you may still have a significant collection of offline music and videos. Wouldn't it be convenient if you can stream that media on any of your devices? It is pretty easy to do just that by setting up a media server. Moreover, you don't need to spend anything to buy new hardware or software to do that. Let's get started. A general option for sharing files between devices is a network attached storage. But this may not be supported by all kinds of devices like smart TVs and is probably an overkill for just a media server. A UPnP or DLNA server is better suited for this use case and I'll be setting up a server like that using a software called Kodi. Kodi is a feature-rich media center app which also has a media server built in. The first step is to install Kodi onto a device which contains all your offline media. This can be your existing laptop or desktop. But this may not be convenient in all cases or you may not want to keep uh, your device on all the time. And in that case, I would recommend getting a dedicated system just for this media server. It can be a cheap, inexpensive second-hand PC, your old laptop or even a Raspberry Pi. Let's head over to the Kodi website to install it. Kodi supports a lot of devices. The downloads page will give you the installer and the directions for your particular platform. Once you open Kodi, you may find that it opens by default in the full screen mode. If you don't want that, you can go to settings, system, display and change the display mode to windowed. Media center apps usually start in full screen mode which is common but since we are using this mostly as a media server app, this should be fine. Now let's enable the UPnP server within Kodi. Let's head back to settings, go into services and give our device a memorable name in the general tab. After this, we can head over to the UPnP slash DLNA option where we can enable the server. In this tab, you can click enable UPnP support and enable all the options except for look for external subtitles. After this, we can head back to the home screen of Kodi and tell Kodi where our media are. You can add the locations of your videos, TV series, movies, music and so on. And the media server is up and running. All the media files that you added to Kodi can be accessed via any supported devices now. You can either install Kodi and enable UPnP support to stream your media or use any other UPnP supported program like VLC Media Player. Using VLC, you can stream your media onto your phone and even cast it to other devices. For iOS, I found Media Player Extreme to be a better option for streaming UPnP videos. You can even access your media in other supported devices like smart TVs. If you want more features like multiple user accounts and access over the internet, Plex Media Server will be a better option. However, many features of Plex require you to have a subscription. And that's it for today's video. I hope you guys found it helpful and enjoyable as usual. What do you think about setting up a media server? Have you done that before? Please let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. As usual, thanks for watching and I'll see you soon in the next one.